Hello friends, and today we shall be discussing about types of missing data with examples. So these are the three categories of missing data that we have in our data set, especially while dealing with different sets of different data sets in machine learning. And they are missing completely at random, second is missing at random, and the third is missing not at random. And this was a requested video. And uh, actually, um, the problem is that these uh, alphabets, this term is often confusing to people, but but uh, just a tip, uh, just a suggestion that please don't consider them as confusing. These are simple terms. Just don't stick with the words, but stick with the meaning that they are trying to convey and things would be simpler for you. So I so let's just understand what exactly uh, this, uh, why missing data is a problem in your data set. So uh, what does this really do and how does it impact the performance of your data? So missing data really, um, is a problem in your data set and you have to deal with it. First of all, it creates bias in your data. The data which is missing, you don't know what that data is, whether it is missing intentionally, whether it is missing randomly, or whether it has been missed out. So th th that is why we've got these three categories which we'll explore now. So you have to determine which category to this data belong, this missing data. And based on this, there is bias in my data. This biasness includes the lack of predictive ability or trustworthiness of this data set. I cannot rely on this data because this is losing out on certain data which might hold crucial insights or might hold crucial information for, my, for me and which has been eliminated or omitted because of certain reasons. So how can I trust that thing, right? I cannot trust it blindly or, or in a one go. I have to reconsider it again and again because there are certain things which are missing and that is doleful, that is suspicious. So now there are three categories of data which we are dealing with. The first one we shall study is MCAR. Now this is missing completely at random. Go with the name, missing completely at random. That means I, I would use this word missingness here because it is often being used. Uh, this entire thing is called missingness, is completely random. Here it is um, independent of any observed or unobserved variable in your data set. It is not dependent, there is no relationship that you can find with the missing value and the data points that you have in your data. So you can say that um, there's a good thing here that you don't have much bias, you, don't, you have less bias. But the downsides is that you will have less data for statistical calculation and you've got reduced data size, okay? So MCAR is uh, your data set in your data, this missing values are not intentionally missed. They are just not there by random or just they are not there, there's no, uh, relationship between these two right now another thing i would say that um, let's give me let me give you an example to make things more clear here is like like few students have uh, missing laboratory values suppose there is a batch of students and few students do not have laboratory values just because of the fact that that batch of lab samples were being processed improperly so it has nothing to do with any kind of biasness this was completely random it was completely at random and that's how, how i can relate this data set that it was not intentional okay now this was mcar now coming to missing at random now what thing is here is that now completely has been removed from here so that means there is a minor difference here okay there's a difference now mar we move on to mar what is this missing at random means this means that the missingness of the data is within the subgroup of that data and it is affecting my other variables also so there's some dependency and when there's dependency there is biasness so this missing data results in biasness and again the reliability suffers okay so this missingness is again within the subgroup now i would come to the, the another part of this is that the data analysis of the complete data set would result in bias because you have got certain features which are dependent on another on other features an example will make it very clear like suppose you're conducting a survey of uh, people who are having different level of anxieties and you happen to find out that male participants they do not complete the survey as compared to female participants that means female participants they likely to they are likely to complete the survey as compared to male participants so what happens here is that the probability of completion of my survey, it, it is dependent on the gender or the sex. So here I find this missingness at random, 
okay because it is depending on the sex and not on the level of anxiety which is the basic criteria which i'm looking forward and now i am hindered in my collection of data because male participants are not participating they are not completing the survey so this induces a kind of a missing value in my data and hence it results in a biased data set okay so now coming to the third one and the last one and that is missing not at random that means my data is not missing at random it has been done intentionally okay not intentionally but i would say that yes i cannot use this thing in, in technical term but i would say that data missing is systematically related to unobserved data that means here this missingness it can be related to the events or any factor which has been not been captured by the researcher they have missed out this data they have not captured this data uh, because of various reasons you know like for example i conduct a survey wherein the income has to be accounted for different people and few people refuse to give their income account because our incomes uh, the data of the income just because they were shy or uh, they fe felt ashamed because their income was less than 2 lakhs inr or 2000 dollars or you know less than 100 euro or 1000 euro or something so they were ashamed of revealing their information of income and that's why i was not having that data so it was not captured so this is missingness not at random this is missing not at random and the result again is a bias because the my data is lacking a few information which i could have got but i have not got because of certain things which were being not estimated reluctance of people ignorance of people or maybe hesitance of researchers to come ahead and make extra efforts to um, you know persuade people and make them realize that this is important and please give us information and this will really impact the decision of decision making process because we have to analyze the data so these are the these are the flaws which we have in collection of a data set and that is why the data analysis suffers because we don't have these missing values and these missing values might be for different sources it could be it could be uh, missing not at random it could be missing at random or missing completely at random and you are left at guess as to how to categorize them in your data set when you get a data which is having null values or missing values you don't know how how this data was collected what went into that what methodology whether it was mnar mar or mcar okay so this brings me an end uh, to an end of this video of types of missing data with examples and again i would um, uh okay so there's some 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 problem okay so the types of missing data with examples this was the categories of missing data and um, to deal with this missing data i i will come up with a video and um, an, uh, an important note is that to deal with missing values is imputation manhot encoding label encoding and various methods how do you deal with categorical and to numeric uh, variables so uh, these are all linked into a sequence and i'll be coming up with videos for that and if you really want to go for a course for this i have designed a course on udemy so you can check out i will provide a link in the description box and this will also help me out a little so if you can support enroll in this course and this is designed in a structured format so that you can understand how do you really work handle files in python and how do you file different different files work with different data and how do you deal with data differently with different projects okay so go ahead and see the course content and enroll that enroll in the course and it would be a great help and secondly that um, this missing data and imputation i'll be coming up uh, um, maybe shortly in, in in a while so stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching